Yes, Norris Brodsky, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm up over. Um, and I have been a financial advisor for 26 years. And I just want to say with respect to John Martin's question that uh, John, what Ari said works most of the time, if you do it right. And uh, the only other thing that I thought you were going to say, Ari, when he said, I'm, I'm all good, was the wave the wand question. You know what I'm talking about? Say to the to the prospect, okay, well, if you could wave a wand and have one of your any of your financial concerns eliminated, what would it be? Excellent, John. Please note that, but that's very good. That's advanced level black belt stuff. But thank you for contributing there. Absolutely, there is a way to extend that for sure. Um, and that segues into my question. And we've talked about this privately a little bit. I have a prospect who I went down the iceberg. I admit this was one of the first ones. I probably didn't do it as well as I sh as I'm doing it now. This prospect basically said what John was saying. You know, I, I've got a guy now. And I think I'm all set, quote, all set, which is, I love that. So turns out we talked about that we both like to play golf. And I did forget to ask him, that was before you told me about the wave the wand question. So I'm playing golf with him. It, this was a couple of months ago, but I've he's coming to my club. He's playing golf with me on... Friday. He is a referral from a client that I just got as a result of this particular client I got because I interviewed him for my book. And he's a very close associate of uh, this fellow that I just got as a client. Now, I got to be very careful. I don't want to look salesy, invite him to the golf and then look sale and act salesy the question is, when do I ask him the wand question? Okay, so... Or is there anything else you would recommend? No, no, there will be a moment that will come up somewhere in your conversation with him, whether it's on the golf course or drinks afterwards or whatever, where he will ask you about what you do or it will, it will naturally come up because there's business, there's leisure, there's not many other things besides that. When that comes up to him, uh, to, to you with him, what I would do is start at the top of the iceberg with tell me a little bit about your situation. Now, we've already done this. No, I know, I know, but I want you to suggest do it again one more time because he's forgot about you from your first meeting. See, we always think like they're thinking about the last second we just spoke with them. <laughs> they're not. The, like the, the days erase when the day's over. People can't think past tomorrow anymore. So, trust me on this one. Start again with the iceberg at, at the, and you're having a drink there. Say, hey, look, we haven't had a chance to talk much. Maybe take a step back. Get, kind of give me the, here it is. Give me the big picture of your situation and where you're at financially in your, in your investments. And uh, let me see if there's some way I can help you. That's how you begin to open up that door where he's going, huh, okay, maybe he's got something that I, I don't see. And he'll start to share with you, well, I got this and I got that. Then you say, oh, interesting. And then you look for the gaps. Ha and here's the languaging for this to make it nice and easy for you. Have you considered? Have you looked at? Are you aware of? Those three phrases there is how you slowly help him see the gaps his guy did not show him before. Because your goal in that meeting with him is to show him something he doesn't know. Not a new solution, but a new gap. His other guy never pointed out until he met with you. Well, I can tell you where I want to focus that on is have you considered um, how to legally pay less taxes than you're paying now? 
Well, I'd, I'd flip that to have you consider that there are ways to stop you from overpaying. That's the key word, overpaying on your taxes. Not the whole legal thing. That gets a little complicated. But overpaying on your taxes. Hugo, what do you mean? I love it. You'll say well, this would is you very be open. Well, yeah, what I mean you... is, and I, would you be open to sitting down? Yeah. And allow me to show you some of those strategies so that yes. you're not overpaying. That feeds perfectly well. But the key word for you, the takeaway for you today is overpay. Overpaying. Or I like in pre in one of your previous, are you okay with paying <laughs> with are you okay with overpaying your taxes? Are you happy to get to pay more than you need to? Uh, what do you mean more than I need to? So all these things you can start to test and try. And, and I love that scenario. Thank you so much for it, Norris. That's great. Thank you.